Hello, this is Bruce Sorensen from MIT Center for Transportation and Logistics. I'm going to describe a new project we just got underway called a high-vis supply chain. Where can you stand to get a good view of the supply chain? Well, unfortunately, nowhere. The supply chain is a very complicated mixture of, of parts and finished goods and capacities and customers and plants and money flows and risks. And it's very hard to describe this to senior management and have them understand. Ironically, companies have oceans of detailed data in their corporate databases. The ERP systems, WMS, TMS, and CRM systems have lots of data, but unfortunately it's not set up to provide a strategic view. There are some existing tools to try to create displays of things like bills of materials. These displays are often incomprehensible, uh, and they're not really made to create a strategic high-level view suitable for the boardroom. The business need is supply chain managers need an efficient way to show senior management a high level strategic picture of things like working capital deployment, capacity constraints, risk pathways, cost accumulation, cycle time accumulation, or market share impacts in the supply chain. This is the kind of a display, for example. This is a left to right uh, network picture that shows a vulnerable pathway. This is a risk display. Or you could toggle from this into a map-based display of the same thing. These are the kind of high-level displays we'd like to create. There's four challenges to overcome. How do I select just the right data from my corporate databases? How do I turn this into a strategic display suitable for the boardroom? What strategic attributes or metrics do I use? How do I calculate them? How do I superimpose these metrics on this strategic display? Let's look at the first one. What we really want here is to be able to s extract bill of material, part supplier, and supplier location data from my corporate databases. I then want to take that information and convert it into a strategic network display. This is kind of an unusual picture. Left to right material flow only shows the main flows. There's no duplication of entities in this picture. Once I have that, Baseline, I can then extract performance data such as forecast, inventory, lead time, capacity, or cost data, and I can show some pretty interesting metrics to senior management. The money flow, value at risk, working capital heat map, cycle time accumulation diagram, identify network bottlenecks, show the cost accumulation diagram, or combine some of these to create something like a resiliency index. For example, here's a, a metric value at risk. I have a little supply chain with a forecast of $50 million. There's a backup supplier that can be ready in 10 weeks, but I've got about four weeks of inventory positioned downstream. So in this little example, my value at risk over recovery time accounting for existing inventory is $5.8 million. So this particular project is going to start out small. We're going to extract the information for the network to create the strategic network display, then extract forecast data to show the money flow or the value at risk, combine that with recovery times, and create a high-vis supply chain display of value at risk over recovery period. Our project plan is to, over a three-year period, is to start very small the first year with a single product line and, and a very simple metric, value at risk. Year two, take on a product category with a little bit more sophisticated metric, including recovery period. Year three, get a division of a company, more complicated network, perhaps other data such as inventory and probabilities to create a very valuable high-vis supply chain display for senior management. This is the kind of a picture we have in mind, and to be able to toggle from this over to a map-based display of the same thing. Sponsoring companies will need to provide uh, some supply chain analytical support and some senior management involvement. MIT will contribute uh, senior research director, graduate students, postdocs, the costs will be split between the participating companies and the methods and the tools will be transferred to the sponsors at the end of each year. So, uh, we hope you're interested in this high vis supply chain project. If you'd like to be able to create these kinds of displays for your company, please get in touch with us and give us a call. Thanks very much for your time.